That was a word he used a couple of times. Maturity for Quinn Ewers who will throw it on first down. Jordan Whittington and this veteran receiving core there. Because of just how quickly he gets the ball out and how many weapons he now trusts. Wow, that's a big number, Brock. This is Xavier Worthy. Edgewater High School as they try to replace both B. John Robinson and Roshan Johnson. Quinn Ewers flushed out of the pocket. He tucks it. He slips. He tries to... And the man. Ewers flips it and in. There's a tailback, the freshman. And this is a run straight up the middle. I mean, look. Should be some answers this afternoon. Ewers to throw, lofting it toward. Flip his hips and get back to it. Well done. Short toss here and a stiff arm. That is Baxter, and he gets overrun by Trey Sean. A production out the door. Jonathan Brooks, the tailback here. That's a throw for Ewers. Worthy. Oh, soft shoot to the sideline. For 240 at some point down the line. That's what he says. Ewers to throw in some traffic. He's got Worthy against Quinn Ewers back at the controls. He will roll and spin and throw it for Jonathan Brooks. And the sophomore tailback is gone. Touchdown, Texas. He loves the pre-snap motion as much as anybody in college football. You can see the eyes of the defenders there. It confuses them, and on top of the motion, you then throw it back to a screen, and look at the big men get out in front. Jonathan Brooks, first career rush, a reset. He's had to grow up. First down run, and physically, and then emotionally, and with the hair being lopped off, that's just some of the weight of the world of expectations lopped off as well. Moving on from high school to college, is here is Adonai Mitchell, the transfer from Georgia, who they love because of his ability to make critical plays late. Ewers first down, scanning, launching deep ball side. Those relationships. And continuity and coaching is part of that as well. They've had basically the same coaching staff down up there. Sark even, it seems, is interested in where they end up run past. They've thrown it a lot early. There's Worthy again. <laughs> First down run for the Longhorns, and Brooks through the car wash, driving forward. And just compare and contrast the movement that you're seeing. Look at the movement at the line of scrimmage with the guys in white pushed off the ball, and as you said, Chris comes in and pushes the pile. And now a bit of a running rhythm. Jason. Back-to-back -back runs, Allison, leading to that conversation, and this throw to Jordan Whittington. 20-plus already today for the Longhorns. They will run clean game in terms of the first quarter here. Ewers on the roll. Quinn Ewers a pump fake, and he'll just tote it out of bounds. And Steve Sarkeesian said he's got to come to life here down in the red zone. Off the motion by Worthy. Ewers this way into First down. Baxter picking his way outside. And the freshman Baxter has tripped up inside the 35. Running back coaches love the term slow to and then explode through. Slow to the hole and then explode through when you've got that green grass, and that is exactly what the young freshman does. Baxter had that run. Brooks with this one in the run game. Cooking now. Protector and left tackle in in the run game. He didn't give up a sack, but nonsensical. Long while since they've had a first round offensive lineman here in Austin as this is going nowhere when they got here is the offensive line 17 scholarship offensive linemen on their roster right now viewers felt the pocket breaking down he will throw on the move to the sideline this catch and he has a little words for Jordan Whittington and there's nothing Jordan could do here he's just flying in but I think if Jordan doesn't bring and attract his defender, Jatavion, saying, bro. Did you get an A? Yes. Of course you did. Third down, 18. Ewers down the middle, and that is incomplete. To it, it was high red zone, if that. And you could see the slingshot out of Quinn Ewers' hand. Just a beautiful ball, but much more. And changed the momentum further. It's play action. They love it. 
Ewers scanning, rolling. Ewers out of the pocket. He goes sideline, and that is worthy on the edge. Trying to stay away from it there. Brooks on the run, and it's third down. He's bless you and your metabolism. <laughs> Quinn Ewers had to change his whole diet in the offseason. Worthy just eating whatever's in front of him. Third down on the run, and I believe Texas will go for this here. It's a run, and it is short. And playing against him. We'll see what this drive looks like. Ewers, a quick set and throw, and it's Xavier Worthy into some space to the 20. And the crowd looking for a reason to expend some energy. Version of his defense. Second down run, and what a job by Brooks to somehow tip that. It's third and four, so the opposite of what Rice got in the last drive. Down, we'll get into that later. But that slingshot, man, does he get it out in a hurry to the short game. Arm angles galore for Quinn Ewers. This is a deep ball with some air under it down the sideline. And just drifts to the sidelines. So Worthy is off for a play. It's a run for Blue, and he's got a first down. Wants mentally and physically tough running backs, and see if Blue's an answer here late in the first half. Quick set and throw, it's Whittington, and he has stood up and stopped. Third down and eight. Ewers climbing the pocket straight ahead, first down. Didn't see much of that a season ago. Feeling better movement-wise. This is the tight end, Gunner. After the injury, first down for the Longhorns. And Jonathan Brooks back in, and he is belted down. And a Texas team that has aspirations of the college football playoff. Trying to land a big punch at the end of this first half. Ewers again goes down. The ball came out. Now there was a whistle. So the question is, oh, the was it dead? The runner was down. Call it third and nine. <laughs> Keelan Robinson, the tailback. Ewers on the screen. It is Robinson. He breaks the tackle. He's got a first down to about the... And they're going to spike it, try and run a put up defensively today, but offensively out of sorts. Pressure again. And incomplete. It's again. Right, you're going to see the late stunt here, and it's just some of the communication. Right? You've got two. You've got a back chipping on an end. You've got a free runner coming. I mean, that's not seven or eight guys. That is five guys with six in protection. You have got to communicate. Do a possibly cynical question. You ready? First, this throw, it gets to the outskirts and worthy. Again, a dance move and a first down. Any Even if you show it, you know what you want to do? Rep it and rep it well to have that success. Makes sense to me. Here's Brooks. And he is done. Second down, short set. Third down. Ewers up the pocket, right up the zipper. First down, he gets hit hard. Hey, Bale, look at the two linebackers' face masks. They turn away. And once Quinn Ewers sees their back and that amount of space, go get that first down. As a defender there, you have got to show eyes a little bit longer than that. You cannot just turn your back. Busted of Quinn Ewers' game, we saw an awful lot last season. How much of that is the new body type? There is, there is no question. It's a ton to do with Brooks for a couple of yards. Just Quinn Ewers will be more on time, a little bit more ahead with the why of play calls and situations. Here, he gets it away for Worthy again, who has had a massive afternoon. Target seven catches. For Worthy, and this is blue to the fringe, and he ran out of running. Extend plays with your legs and your eyes still downfield for six. The Sanders in motion. Ewers to throw down the middle. And an I Mitchell touchdown. About some uh, sweet feet. There were some sweet feet on the outside, but look at all of these defenders for Rice. The heavy, heavy run action. Just a one man route out there. Bama, when you could play 12 dudes and you defeat the line of scrimmage, you often win. Right down the middle, Jatavion Sanders is free! And a touchdown! That's Rice. 
Right, been some tough miscommunication. Some of those blitzes have gotten home. Uh, not that time. Jatavian gets his head around. Especially the cumulative effect. Yep. As Texas will run it here. I've had baseball players who use on this hot turf too long. Can you just say they took the starch out of rice? Its availability is next week as well. Thank you for that, Allison. Down in Tuscaloosa, they'll play Alabama. And a tough Big 12 schedule to play as well for the Longhorns. And here early would be highly beneficial. Neither team's converted on a fourth down so far, and that has changed. Jonathan Brooks moves the sticks for Texas. Throws it 80 yards. And then just trying, just pressing, right? Just wanting to do a little bit too much instead of the game come to you. Years off his back. Tunneling for four. Third and six. They go tempo to a run. Blue breaking tackles. Bouncing outside. Jaden Blue inside the red zone. To native Blue on that first down run. Now Keelan Robinson checks in. And Ewers over the top near side. Winning. Working hard in the heat over on that sideline. First and goal. Brooks the tailback. And Ewers keeps it. A little more to work with. A little more elusive. One rushing touchdown all last season. And <laughs> you can see the guys arise. Oh, the guys are just worn. Fournier, and he gets a huge roar and a low snap that he hands to Blue. To the USC guys as well, the different rooms he had, including some of our colleagues. Murphy's throw. That was on Jake Majors, the center who was referred to as a football cyborg in our meetings yesterday. Murphy, a laser down the middle, and that was a close line. Homing. Did Mayor catch this ball, or did it catch him? It may have caught him, Brock. <laughs> Just can't help but stand up and sing as a group. Malik Murphy, who just threw an absolute dart, drops this one off and gets it into the year. He's got a first and 25. Quick spin into the play action, and he'll drop it off. It's a screen on the tight end, Juan Davis. There's another spin 40. Long ways. Allison downstairs. They evaluate hand size, ankle size, everything to make sure that they have the exact fit at each position on that line. It's going to be a huge key to their season. The center. Big humans is what they want. Big humans. In today with Texas playing Alabama next week, then a slog of a Big 12 schedule as well. Murphy right on the hand. This time they'll have to do it down there. This is a run, and it's not really going to go anywhere. So, Can answer the call. Offensively, there's just some stop and start. Right, there is some of that miscommunication that you're going to have to clean, clean up. You can be guaranteed next week they're going to test that communication. Balls on the ground and eventually picked up by Red, and he will go down. I